Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of The Purpose Show. We are in the year 2024. So this is a new season. And we will be interviewing this year persons from the virtual book tour as well as a few others. Stay tuned. We have a very special guest coming right on up shortly. And guess what? She is also a purpose coach. Who is she? Ladies and gentlemen, you will soon find out. Now, I'm your progress coach and the host for today's show, Lisa Ann Clark. I'm an author. I'm a teacher. I am a business specialist, but I'm also in ministry. I'm the leader of the Holistic Healing Ministries, Jamaica, and we offer our programs online. So each year, sometimes twice per year, but most Often once per year, we offer the purpose show. Here on the screen, you can see some of my the, the products that we have here. The book called Purpose, a Blueprint to Accomplishing God's Plan for Your Life. You see here a picture of Dion from the UK, the prior clinic who was interviewed in season two of the purpose show. And we have to the right, the purpose course that we also offer. And the purpose is aimed towards you achieving your destiny for you being the best you can be utilizing all that God has embedded within you, your gift, your skill, your talents, some spiritual elements as well, that which you were created to do. We offer online training, we offer customized workshops, we offer strategic prophetic intercession sessions where through the Holy Spirit, right? Advice is given. So we have private session, private mentorship, as well as spiritual unlocking. And that can only be done by someone who has that gift. It is a gift. Not everyone has that gift. Each of us were created uniquely. We ha may have similar tendencies. We may have similar gifts, but they are not everyone is purpose to do spiritual unlocking. All right. So today's guest, we have a member of the a participant of the virtual book tour. We have Mrs. Kernifa Spiropoulos, and she is an award-winning author, Amazon best-selling author of three books. She's a content creator, yes, Lord, motivational speaker founder of Gifted to Inspire podcast and a certified life coach. She is, she partners with young adults to discover their God-given purpose. So she's very strategic with her target group. Yeah. And she motivates them to, she is, she partners with young adults to discover their God-given purpose and motivates them to walk in it. She motivates them to walk in their purpose. God, and to build God's kingdom and achieve their goals on earth. So she's here to partner as a coach to help you to achieve your earthly goals. Kernifer believes that she has received the gifts of writing from God. Yes, writing is a gift. It is also a talent, but more so a gift. And through this gift, she has already written two books, a minimum of two books, says here, Pray Without Seizing and Cardi's Teenage Journey, along with a motivational composition notebook that says, I can do all things through Christ who give me strength. She also anticipates other, she also anticipates others as the Lord continues to inspire. So she aims to become a serial author and she has already begun the journey having already under her belt two books plus her journal and i see something else here called 36 weeks of daily focus we're going to find out a little bit more about that her author's link is on the page i hope you take a screenshot of what you're seeing here 
so you can contact her and I'm going to invite her to unmute so she can share with us today her journey and more on purpose. Here we see an image of Kernifer. Her book, Pray Without Seizing, Cardi's Teenage Journey. Here's another book called Discover and Unlock Your Purpose. And I see another one here calling called Unleashing Your Potential. So that seems to be a very motivational book as well. And we can see the composition notebooks. Her social media handles are at Kernifos Peropolis. That's for TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Connect with her at K-E-R-N-I-F-E-R-K-R-D-3 at gmail.com. Telephone 609-836-2424. That's our contact detail. After we complete this interview, you can always go back to the beginning of the tape to get this information. And you can find her on Amazon. That's where her books are being sold. Now, let us go to Kernifer. We want to hear about Kernifer and her thoughts on purpose. Just a minute. As I stop sharing and welcome our very special guest today, Kernifer. Unfortunately, she is not able to join us live in terms of showing her face, but she's right here speaking through the audio and she will be answering our questions on purpose today. Kernifer, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Purple Show. Blessings to you, Lisa Han. Blessings to you. I hope you can I Blessings to you, and thank you for inviting me. Thank you for um, hosting this show where, you know, people like me to, can get to share my story to impact the world. Thank you so much, and thank you to our audience who is listening right now. And I pray that as we speak, you will be impactful, and you will just let it resonate in your heart. Yes, and before we get into... What is purpose and what purpose means to you? I want you to tell us a little bit about your background. Who is Kernifer? Where are you from? Who you end up becoming an author? <laughs> yes, I am Kernifer Spiropoulos. I was born and raised in Jamaica amongst my five siblings. I am a teenage mother. And of course, I was abused physically, emotionally, and I suffered low self-esteem, self-doubt. I struggled a lot, but I believe that all those struggles and all those obstacles that I have been through, it made me become stronger and into the woman I am today. I am an author of actually six books. I heard you said two, but it is more than six. <laughs> and I have so much more coming. Glory to God. Congratulations. I am a purpose coach. Yes, mm -hmm. I am a purpose coach. And I also do life coaching. I am a counselor in training. Glory be to God. To God be all the glory and honor and praise. I am also a motivational speaker. How did you become, how did you become a coach? How did you become a, a, an author? What inspired and led you to do all this? So you it could join the virtual God. book tour this year. It is just God's grace. It is just the grace of God. I don't know how. I didn't do it. God did it all. God did it all because, to be honest, I could not do this on my own. It's only by the grace of God that this happened. Um, when I re I relocated from Jamaica, I'm now living in the United States. When I relocated from Jamaica, I wrote my first book in 2022, which is Cardi's Teenage Journey. I spoke about my life journey who I got pregnant, the abuses that I went through and oh, I overcame. I wrote my first book and, you know, I thought that, you know, this is um, a beginning for my, you know, my author journey. But when I, as soon as I published the book on Amazon, there comes a lady who hurt up my wound. She made a bad comment on my book. And, you know, as, as a beginner, I thought, you know, as a beginner and coming from low self-esteem and self-doubt, you know, having that comment 
on my book, you know, I thought that, you know, maybe this, this route is not for me, you know, but I thank God that um, God never allowed me to give up because I was actually going to give up. And to be honest, with this specific, um, specific book, I won an award last year. Yes. So has this teenage journey inspired many who have gone through the same struggles internationally? Yes, it, yes, it does. And just imagine if I had given up into that bad review, many persons, you know, would not have um, re read the story because I could, you know, just easily take down the book and say, listen, I'm not doing this again. But I was so determined to put my story out there because I know that there are many other persons out there who are facing the same situation or even worse and just needed to hear someone speak about it and how they overcome you are being tested. Yes, I've been tested. You are being tested. Oh my, I, I, I know what it is like to have a passion and to believe in something and to just have someone come and show cold water and a little fire. You know, oh especially gosh. when the fire is fledgling. Fledgling fire, you need the support, you need a little oxygen for the flame to grow and hear this right. person come with their negativity. So, to me now, what does purpose mean to you? Because you would have had to know that this is a part of your purpose to continue or just being obedient to God. What does purpose mean to you and how does writing fit into your whole scheme of purpose in your life? Well, I believe that purpose is the reason why we exist. The reason what we purpose is, you know, what we are created to do and who we are created to serve. And I do believe that everyone should um, get to know their purpose because um, living a life, um, not knowing who you are and what you are supposed to do, you can be misled. It will you know, make you go down the, right, the wrong path because I have been through it. I have been through it. I have struggles because I, I don't know who I was, what I was supposed to do. I. You know, I know that I was gifted. I know that I was talented, but I just don't know. I didn't know how to use it or, you know, who I was supposed to serve. But I know that I have a great purpose within me. So would you say having a relationship with the divine help you to know that you're purposeful and what that purpose is? Exactly. Yes. Yes. Because after... Um, as I mentioned before, I was actually provoked to purpose because that that review that I got on my book, <laughs> I ran to church. That was where I went and I just laid out everything. I ran to church so quickly. And at one point when I was doing all different type of stuff and, you know, because I didn't know what I was supposed to do, I was doing all different type of stuff. I was making candles. I was... I was making lip balm. I sell, I was selling, you know, the string that they use for, for the mask. I was selling all those. Oh my gosh. I was doing so much wrong things with my, with my gift. And one day the Lord said to me, uh, Kernifer, where am I in all that you are doing? Mm -hmm. I was, I was, I was like, I was, <laughs> I, I was speechless. I didn't know how to respond to it because you know, I, I, I just had to stop and reflect. And that, that's when I started to ask God, like, God, what am I really supposed to do? What do you want me to do? Right? The fact that God said to me, Where is he in all that I am supposed in all that I am doing? I know that that is not what he wanted me to do. So that's You're when I started path. to seek him for mm -hmm. more clarity on what I should be doing. Wow. So could you say that? Even though we may have gifts and we may be led to do something to earn an income that we can be we can be going in the direction of a distraction because what we were purposed to do should bring God glory in the end. Would you look on it that way? Yes. Yes, it can be a distraction. And and there will always be people who will try. Let me say this. There will always be people who the enemy will use to try to distract you and kill your purpose because the enemy knows that once you know your purpose he is in trouble <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> your destiny. You, we, okay. His plan is to kill, steal, and destroy. So yes. his plan is to kill purpose, to steal purpose. Purpose can be stolen too, because purpose is not just what you're supposed to do. There are different elements of your purpose that is spiritual as well, right? Yes. And he seeks to destroy purpose by distracting us, by laying afflictions and 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 to, to not having us come to achieve self-actualization. There is hidden potential within us, but we don't know it. And right. sometimes we see the affirmation from the outside, from people to lead us to where we're supposed to go when we're supposed to seek that affirmation from God. Because God created us. He knew exactly why he put us here. He knew all the different skills and passions and gifts. And he knows our strengths and our weaknesses. But yeah. in the natural, because once we're here, once we're born, we're programmed to operate a certain way. So many of us don't even know that we serve a purpose. Right. We are programmed to think you go to school, you learn a skill or a trade or get a profession and you just work and pay taxes for the rest of your life. Right. right? It, it, many don't enjoy what they do. Right. But when you're operating in purpose, you will know that this is something that you have to do and you will enjoy what you're doing. And many sacrifice their lives for it. They know that, you know, this is a risk. I may end up becoming a martyr, but this is a part of my purpose, like John the Baptist, right? right? And like so many other freedom fighters, like Martin Luther King, right? Like 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 Malcolm X, they were sent to fight against oppression, right. and they fought the best way they could. Now tell me something: you're living in Jamaica, you're living in the U.S., but you're from Jamaica. We are in Jamaica. You want to give a shout out to anybody in Jamaica, your community? any affiliated schools or so because to get where you are a foundation was laid somewhere before you became mrs spiropolis right <laughs> Arthur award winner and all these things in the united states tell us a little bit about your jamaican heritage well i am claridonian <laughs> i was born in in Kellitz. i grew up in mapen mapen clarendon i used to attend the yorton high school so I want to give shout out to my my past high school, even though I never completed high school, but I still love my high mm -hmm. school. And mm -hmm. your time, I look out for me because I am coming there to empower my students. Those are my students, my teenagers. I am coming to empower them. So I want to give a shout out to my high school. I want to give a shout out to my family back in Jamaica, my churches in Jamaica. God bless you. So you see, sometimes misfortune comes, but we can learn from the experience of others and we don't let it kill our purpose and discourage us. Kernifa is going to give back to her school, Uatan. What nice. a wonderful purpose coach. I am sure the career development department, the guidance council department will be happy to receive you because our teenagers need guidance in so many different ways and they can learn from your story right. our children nowadays they have been exposed to overexposed because of social media overexposed because of the internet and some things that are supposed to be left for later it's it, it seems as if if you're not doing it then something is wrong with you but you can speak on so many different things not just having self-confidence and general personal development. You can also speak about abuse. And I hope that when you when you get there, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I, I heard the word ne neglect a while ago. I don't know if you experienced neglect of sort, but I heard the word neglect. So yes. that is something that you can also look like, oh my God. So ladies and gentlemen, let me warn you, this is also a prophetic show. <laughs> and... Um, when you're in company of prophets, sometimes the prophetic tends to flow. So both of us are in ministry. I'm in ministry. I'm a prophetic author as well. And to be able to do the work that I do in terms of purpose unlocking and for Kearney, for to do the work that she does, she relies a lot on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit speaks and he shows us and he, and he guides us. So I just want to give you a heads up in case you're wondering how come I'm hearing and we don't have seen anybody else around. 
we, we, we tend to hear what God is saying through the Holy Spirit and will inform as best as possible and as discreet as possible to, to not scare you so you understand what is happening. No, she, she, she explained how she became an author. She had her experience. She had her, her little story. She, she was doing something that she, she, that was more like a hobby than what God wanted her to do. She was doing something to just earn her some money. And what you're, nothing is wrong with what she did. Creating candles and lip balm. That's a great skill to have. And I'm sure she can do some training and do some local workshop or earn some money on the side. But God wanted her to earn more than that. God didn't want her to just have a small business. God wanted her and still wants her. His intent is for her to have global impact. And his intent is for him to make small things great. Small things great. That is a phrase I just heard the Holy Spirit says to make small things great. The minuscule things that we don't pay attention to in his eyes is magnificent. The simple things like obedience, he says, will lead us to greatness. And as such, she's here on the platform today to explain what purpose means. She says, she explained what purpose means. And she said, what purpose me means to her but I want her to tell me, apart from her being pregnant and that one little negative statement, were there other hindrances that you experienced on the journey? And what advice would you give to people in terms of overcoming obstacles and accomplishing purpose? Of course, I, I would have had more hindrances. I... I felt like I was neglected. I was laughed at. I was told that I was not going to become anything good in life. So, you know, that with all that said and done, it actually pushes me further to prove to them that my God is able and he will never leave me nor forsake me. Right. So I want to encourage someone today. It, I, I'm not going to tell you that obstacles and, and challenges are easy to overcome, but with the right mindset and approach, you can turn any challenge into opportunity. Just stay focused, seek support, stay, stay rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ. Don't be afraid to learn. Don't be afraid to grow and take care of yourself. Every obstacle is a chance to to develop resilience and, and perseverance. So keep pushing forward and you will find a way through. Trust me, it is not easy. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not going to be easy, but with the guidance of God and a right mindset, you will get there. Mm -hmm. Push until something happens. Right. Right. Push. I, I heard the Holy Spirit say that he is putting but the broken pieces of your life. Mm -hmm. God is the potter and he says he's putting you together for you to become whole. He says his intent is wholeness. His intent is healing through all of this, through your weakness, through the weakness, he says, you're being made strong through him. And the stone who the builder refused, they're going to call back into the community. Amen. They're going to give you accolades. They're going to speak positively about the things that you're doing because of the platforms that he will enable you to be on. Amen. I keep hearing the stone that the builder refused. You're going to be the the, the head of the corner, you're going to be the chief cornerstone. In whatever way, he plans to position you right there. And that will bring healing into your life. Amen. There's some things that he may have to do off offline because I'm, I'm hearing him talk about soul fragments and these things. And this is just the launching pad for you. Amen. As you continue to seek... And as you continue to speak about purpose, 
He's going to teach you more and more about purpose, unlocking gifts, and all these different things. Thank you, Jesus. So we, 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 as we obey him, that is when we heal. As we take a step, that is when we grow. God doesn't want us to be stagnant and just wait and say, okay, let heal me right here because you see that I'm broken. God wants us to walk in faith. And as we walk in faith, that is when we know. But by the time you say, who that change? Come on, you wonder, when did you become the person who you are? So for you, it's a case of like leading by example. You're going to walk the journey. And then many young women will follow you. And you will mentor many. Because I'm seeing you walking on a path and there are people following you on this path. Many broken people like from the women's shelter, the women's center. You know that women's center in Kingston? Yeah. Yeah. People who he says have experienced brokenness. Many young people have experienced brokenness and they don't know the, the identity. He wants you to speak about identity while you speak about purpose. And even though we have we have diverted a little from the questions for this show, because as as I as I stated, this program is also a ministry. So we're going as the Lord leads, and God has opened this avenue for Kernifer to come on this platform to share her story and for Him to also help her on this journey, this wonderful purpose journey. He has gifted you with many talents, he says, and abilities. And much will come through formal training as well, he says. So he's going to open the door for you to get some formal training in the future. And that will lead you into destiny. So this is just the beginning. You're muted, right? But this is just the beginning. I want you to tell me about your experience on the virtual book tour so far. And I might need to give you a little minute or so. You're you're muted, by the way. All right. Yes. Um, okay. I don't know why the Holy Spirit have me emotional right now. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry. Because of the prophecy. <laughs> you you have been obedient to, to his request. So he's just giving you further strategic direction as to who you're going to walk. That's what he's doing. He, he says he's healing you on this journey. One step at a time, I can see the footprints in the sand. And just mm -hmm. like when I see the footprint in the sand and you're following Jesus, it's the same way people are going to be following you because you're following Jesus. This journey, this car, this journey, will lead many to Jesus and not just purpose alone because purpose is achieved through Jesus Christ. Right. I hope they catch it. I hope they catch it. Right? My God. On the quest to journey, many will find Jesus. Amen. The author and finisher of the faith and the creator of purpose. And where does your destiny lie? Our destinies are in him. So it is true him that everything was formed and made and is supposed to be. Many of us are led off course. And one of the strategic advantages you have is your, your, your age, your youthfulness. You'll be able to connect with many because of your youthfulness, he says. That is a strategic advantage for you. Amen. Yeah. So keep it fresh. Keep looking fresh. <laughs> but this is just the beginning. Amen. You will go back to school. You will do formal, he says, higher education. Yeah? Amen. Higher. You're going to do more studies and he's going to take another Sunday. Yes, Lord. Different kind of program this night if we were on ladies' night. Right? But Amen. he's using this opportunity to speak to you. So we vary your session. Because your session is about purpose. Not just being a purpose coach, but this is to strategically direct you as well 
to let you know that you're walking in alignment and that your purpose will bring others into their purpose and greatness. Tell us, what's, what's the book tour been like for you so far? Um, it has been uh, wonderful so far. You know, it has given me the chance to, you know, gain more exposure. And, you know, as a person coming from low self-esteem and self-doubt, this is the place that I want to be, you know, amongst um, more successful people where I can be able to grow and learn. So it has been wonderful so far, and I'm looking forward to great things. Um, what, would you like to share some more about the other books, of what each book specifically relates to? Um, Pray Without Season. Um, it's actually a prior manual. Uh, God reminded me that I should pray without season. And I just want to take the time to also remind the world that they should never cease to pray because prayer is very important. It's a, it allows us to connect with God, right? So I just want to remind everyone that they should never cease to pray it has uh, guidance on how to pray, what to pray for, how to overcome your fear and your struggles through prayer. So I encourage everyone to get a copy of this book, Pray Without Season. It is available on Amazon. All my books are available on Amazon. Cardi's Teenage Journey um, is about my life story, how I get pregnant or I overcome the obstacles. Mm -hmm. And it is also available on Amazon. Unleashing Your Potential. This one is also on Amazon. This Discover and Unlock Your Purpose. This is the big catcher. <laughs> Purpose. It is also available on Amazon. Everything that you need to, to know about purpose, discovering your purpose, overcoming fear, self-doubt, everything is right here. Overcoming um, low self-esteem, and to be honest, when I wrote this book, I never know I was packed with all these things, low self-esteem, oh my gosh, self-doubt, lack of confidence. I never even, I never stopped to, you know, reflect on myself and all these things that I had until I was writing this book. So get a copy of this book. It is very important and interesting. 36 weeks daily focus. This is actually a journal where you can um, journal your, your daily plans. And it also have a spot here for self-care and meal plan. This is very interesting. Also meal available plan. on, yes, also available on Amazon. And here I made this book. The Lord told me to, um, the Lord instructed me to do this composition book. One day I was sitting on my couch and it's like I can clearly hear the voice of the Lord says, you are motivating adults. What about um, teenagers? And he said, do a composition book and put it in the high schools in Jamaica. And on the cover, he specifically told me to write Philippians 4 verse, verse 13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So this one um, is supposed to be in schools especially high schools it's a motivational composition book and it is available for purchase on amazon also i pray i have my hopes up that whenever i am going i'm prophesying this whenever i am going to speak at my high school i can be able to donate some of them yeah yes and where again can you get your book all, all my books are available for purchase on amazon what's your email address again my email is carnifercard3 at gmail.com so that's k-e-r-n-i-f-e-r-c-a-r-d the number three at gmail.com and my number is 609-836-2424 and my social media is Kernifer Spiropolis. So TikTok, Instagram, Facebook is Kernifer Spiropolis. 
Um, another question for you by chance. How important is family support to enable you to, to do what you love to do? Um, family support is very important. And especially when it comes to my husband, he is a very good support. You know, whenever I have something to do, um, he always push me to do it. He, he would like, you know, babe, aren't you working on a book? What are you doing now? You know, he always keep me accountable. So mm -hmm. I have very good support right there. My sisters, they always um, support me as well. My mother and my my daughter. I noticed that I didn't speak much about my daughter, but she is a very good support. She is like, oh my gosh, my biggest inspiration. And see, watch her grow. Oh my gosh. And do all the things that I never got to do when I was a teenager. That also inspire me. She is... Um, she just left high school. She's now 18 and she is wow. moving on to, to college. Yes. So I have a good support. You still look like a teenager to have a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> you still look like a teenager, but that's a part of the journey and a yeah. blessing too. It's also right. a blessing when we go along with our kids, right? God, God, God makes all things possible, and having ch a ch child is a gift. Amen. It's a gift. What would you like to encourage our listeners to 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 pay attention to what to do as in regards to pursuing your passion and in pursuing your purpose? What right. charge? What would you like to leave with your 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 viewers today? I want to leave with all the viewers. Um, pay attention to your identity. Get to know your identity and pay attention to the purpose blockers because there will al they will always come. So pay attention to the purpose blockers. And not because you fall. In pursuing your, your, your purpose, not because you fall, it doesn't mean that you cannot get up. Falling is a part of the per the process. I I fell a lot of times, but I did not allow me. I did not allow it to overthrow me. I know that I had to pursue my pro my purpose. So I know that I had to pick up the broken pieces and just move on, and always walk in the obedience of the Lord. Always listen to the voice of the Lord because he is always speaking to us, but we're not listening. So unless you are listening, you are going to always go down instead of moving forward. So I want to say to us today, do not stop on the journey. Continue to pursue your purpose. Everything will not come overnight, but if you just have the right mindset to move forward, you can make it. Do not give up. Do not give up. Press not towards not. the mark. Press until you achieve your goals. Press until you achieve your purpose. Press until you achieve destiny. Whatever it is you're created to do, do it with all your might. Now we reach that closing section. Oh, I'm so sorry. Before we close, let us just stick and stay for one minute. Let me just share our sponsor information. So please stay with us for just a moment. For all your home health care needs, contact the Gentle Care Nursing Service. They're a home health care agency and they're in the United States. They provide care for the young, the elderly, in your homes for those who may have special needs, for those who need help even with shopping, for those who may be sick, they provide companions, CNAs, HAAs, and their services on an hourly basis or on a living basis. They also train their staff. They also train family members rather to care for your loved ones. You can contact them at 215-927-0958. And their website is www.gentlecns.com. That's G-E-N-T-L-E-C-N-S.com. We also want to 
invite you to join the Creative Biz Coach if you are interested in getting your book covers done, your posters for your conferences. If you want to get your books printed independently and uploaded on Amazon, you can contact us. If you're interested in what's happening in Jamaica, what are some of the hot spots? We can share some information for you if you're if you are a tourist. If you would like to get book reviews, assisting at help with typing business documentation and consultancy. We're here to help you as well as with purpose development. We do workshops. We give business ideas, strategic intercession. We give information and ideas for ministries so you can earn as well. Contact the creative biz coach at bizcoachja at gmail.com. You can also please do subscribe to our channel. The channel that the Purpose Show comes on is the Holistic Healing Ministries Jamaica. And our social media handle is Holistic Healing Ministries J6758. To follow us on Instagram, we're at the Prophetic Author. And on Facebook, I'm at Lisa and Clark. If you'd like to partake in the purpose course you can go to thinkific we have our course on thinkific you can also go to the biscoach academy dot a web dot page and you see the different products and services that we provide if you'd like to get souvenirs whether it be ministry related or jamaican type souvenirs visit our printify page it's at visiontours.printify.me. We have over 100 products. We have scriptures on some of the products. We have mugs. We have t-shirts. We have painting. We have trays. There are, there are even products with purpose on it. We have a lot of journals, a lot of journals that you can purchase, different type of journals. If you want adventure, basic books, professional books, a whole heap of products on Printify. And if you'd like to check out our books, because we have a variety of books, as well go to amazon.com the amazon store is listed below lisa dash and dash clark L Y S S A dash a n n clark and my latest book that was just released this week is called descendants and descendants speaks to jamaican heritage it speaks to the the the, the emancipation in jamaica and who we are as a people different tourism sites, blessing in tourism. It can be used as a textbook for children in, of different ages. It can be used if you're gonna go through the communities highlighted and do uh, go on a geo, geo tourist tour, go on a geo tour. If you wanna go on a faith tour, if you wanna go on a community eco tour, there are activity sheets and there's a journal in there for you to write down your findings. And there are many questions. If you want to trace your lineage, if you're a Smith, if you're a Satchel, if you're a Bar, a Leslie, Walker, um, Lynch, those descendants are highlighted in the book and specific communities including Above Rocks, Glen Gough, Almond Hill, Parks Road, Salisbury Plain, um, pictures from Lacey, Salisbury Plain, Two River, Stone Hill, the Methodist Church, the United Methodist, the Wesleyan Methodist, so many different areas, Almond Hill, Almond Hill, School, Cavaliers Anglican Church, historic locations in Jamaica. Get a piece of your local history, share it with your family. Especially if you have migrated, you need to take a piece of home with you and be able to share with your descendants about where you're from. So I want to thank you for joining us on the Purple Show today. Let's get back to our guest. Just a minute. All right. So welcome back. We're closing out. So I just want to pray for you. And thank you for taking your time to come today. It's amazing. I didn't get to follow my script, script to script because the Lord intervened and he began to share yeah. as we spoke. And uh, it, 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 it's a blessing. You have been so helpful in so many ways. This young lady, I met her last year 
And she taught me some strategies on TikTok. <laughs> so young people eh, on the social media more than us. And she taught me some strategies on how to, to go on my social media. And uh, I'm so thankful for her help. And I'm happy to see where you are going and where God is taking you. I, it was just a blessing to see the footprints and to see the journey and the people was walking behind you. That's amazing. God is good. He's truly awesome. Lord, we thank you so much, mighty God, that you have purpose, Kernifor, to bless so many. We thank you, mighty God, that your plan is for good, not for evil, and that you want us, mighty God, to have health. You want us to have wealth. You want us to prosper. You want us to achieve greatness, and you want to get the glory out of everything. You don't want us to say that it is because of ourselves why we are where we are today. I thank you, Lord God, that you are healing your daughter. And I thank you for every blessing that you've provided for her, every support. I thank you for her husband. I thank you for her daughter. I thank you for her family. I thank you for her, her church community who help her mighty God, whomever it is that caters to her spiritual need. Continue to point to her, give her dreams and visions, mighty God. Continue to equip her, Lord God. Show her what else she needs to do, mighty God, as you continue to to, to guide her and to launch her out into the deep. As you say that this is just the beginning, there is much more for her in the future. We thank you, Lord, for making everything possible. And we ask you even now to have your own sweet way. We thank you, Lord God, that you have already decreed a thing and everything that you have declared is already established in the heavens and it's already established here on earth. We decree and declare even now that much sales will come. As I hear, come and let's see, see, you know the phrase, come let's see a man, it's come let's see this woman. Come let us see what God has done for her, how he has empowered her, how he has turned her life around. Isn't it amazing what God can do for his people? Who he deeds through purpose, to purpose, and in purpose for his glory. We seal your words, mighty God, and we cover her and her family under your blood. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow, what a show. I pray that Many will be inspired from today's program. Come, 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 come. Here is Kernifer. Kernifer is on the show. Look at what she's doing. She's such an example and a shining light for her school. You are done high. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mrs. Kernifer Spiropoulos, our guest. <laughs> Tell them bye-bye. Bye-bye <laughs> to you. And I just want to leave a quick prayer for you. I pray that... Um, we, you will not be fooled. I pray that you will continue to walk in obedience to God. I pray that this show will continue. I pray that it will serve as a motivation to the heart of God's people in Jesus name. Amen. And amen. And amen. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Everything. Thank you for having we'll me. We'll work out for our good. All we need to do is trust in the Lord and be obedient. He will reveal, he makes all things new, and he's always faithful. And to your audience, thank you again for joining us on another Purpose Show as we go out with our song. Just give us a, a, a moment. Give us one moment as we prepare to leave you. I hope that you have some food for thought today. I hope that you are blessed and I hope that you will be inspired to continue to pursue purpose because you were created for purpose. See you again on another episode of the Purpose Show this season in 2024. Thank you so much to our guests. Thank you so much to our sponsors. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the day.